Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Aquarius. So, this is really, if anybody's really going to be feeling how exciting this energy right now, it really has got to be you. Um, there is a really big focus. <laughs> Um, there's a really big focus going on with your career, a polarity kind of healing thing going on with your career and with your home roots, childhood, um, beginning era type of situation. And there's a polarity thing going on, but um, basically you're getting, you know, and it's kind of like even some things that you have been working on for a while. Um, layers that you've been peeling back but that like there's a new kind of rebirth thing going on with your career right now where you're just really like whether it's coming up with brand new ideas um, to go into a whole new arena or are just this similar things that are along along the same line of what you are doing but you are seriously coming up with ideas, coming up with strategies, really getting serious about your role in the world, really getting serious about what you're here to do. And the word serious is a big part of it in that, you know, maybe before you were, you've always known you were special, you know, and you've always known that there was something you were good at and um, but you may have just still like had lack of confidence or whatever but something now is making you really step up and say I have these gifts dude they're special I know it uh, I'm not gonna beat around the bush anymore or you know play small it's a big thing right now is playing too small because you're really not it's kinda of funny because your life path is um, completely um, on the same one as Leo's have and Leo's come out into the world going hey notice me you know there's only a few shy Leo's I've ever met and it's usually when they just have things closer into the cancer category or they have a Venus in cancer but normally it's just not something in them they are they're, they're shy like when they like someone or something like that but not as a putting themselves out there kind of thing. They love to put themselves out there. They love when everybody's looking at them. And you're learning the same kind of life path as them, but yours is coming so much from, no, I'm not really important, or I don't really want anybody to look at me, or I don't want to put myself out there. But both of these signs are looking to come to the middle ground of you know, putting yourself out there when the time is right, stepping back to give others the limelight when the time is right. So that's what Leos are always learning too, that sometimes they do need to pull back and let somebody else be um, the one on stage, the one getting all the attention. Sometimes they need to pull back and be the supporter. But in these times that we're in right now, it's just very important that all Aquariuses step up and recognize that what they're bringing is really, really, really special. You know, it's nobody does it like you guys. It's this completely different way um, of, of everything even you create. It will be so different. I can always see like artwork, you, I can tell who is an Aquarian. You know, writing, I can tell who's an Aquarian. Visually, I can always tell who's an Aquarian, you know? It's just something that's just a little different, but really cool, <laughs> you know? It's, it's different because they just don't want to be like everybody else because they get so much, you know? They get how that's just superficial, that's just you know, you've been programmed into believing that you're supposed to be like that. So I'm not going to be like that, you know. It's a really awesome, powerful sign. And my Venus is there, so I get Aquarians. Like, you know, like I tell you, the moon sign and your Venus sign are the ones that really encode you, and especially in this world of the feminine now. I think that's why those two signs at least to me really stick out as who that person is because we are so moving into the honoring and recognition of the feminine. So I'm like back to the horoscopes. Um, right now you're getting very serious. There's whatever things you're doing right now or thinking or changing with your career are very important. Um, they really are going to have a long-term effect because of what you're doing right now. 
um, whether it's the new jobs that are showing up, new ideas you want to share with the world. Um, there's something that's gotten you really excited and it's really important so stay on this one don't and you're not going to fall off of it anyway and it's all kind of destined so it's kind of the roads paved for you anyway which is pretty cool so um, the energies too right now uh, Mars is right up against the Sun in Taurus and what it's doing is it's really pushing you it's like having a personal trainer right now or a life coach who's really, there's this energy that's pushing you to pursue these other things, to put yourself out there in these other ways, to go outside of your box, outside of the comfort zone, also to go outside of anything that has been conditioned into you. So anything that anybody has always said, you're never going to amount to anything because you're da-da-da. You know how I talked in the main thing about us, in the main reading about us losing these layers um, and kind of letting go of how other people have defined us and really kind of coming out full blast with who we really are and loving and honoring it and, you know, not questioning or dealing with anybody else's judgments or questions or you're not supposed to be this way. I actually had to send something to this woman because of this comment she made about my hair like people keep getting on me about my hair like you need to brush your hair I'm like who the fuck says I need to brush my fucking hair I mean for real seriously like that that kind of stuff like I can get really fired up over stupid stuff like that I would never tell anybody that they had to change something about their looks because I have a problem with it I mean that's just something that's totally foreign to me it was funny too because when I got so worked up about it I was thinking about how so many things don't push me, don't push me. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's, you know, everybody I work with, they come at me with their things. I'm like, yeah, you know, but I can always see the bright side and da-da-da. They don't even move me. But things like this, they move me. <laughs> because I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> like, ugh. It's just, it's just rude, you know? And I said that. I said this to this woman. You know, why you would say something to try to make somebody feel like there's something wrong with them. Like, that's just, that's all what I'm talking about right now that has to leave. We have to look at people with compassionate eyes. And if you want to have your hair purple and green and shaved on one side, awesome. That is totally kick ass. Do what you want. If you want to dredge your hair, kick ass, you know? How dare you come to me and be like judging me because you think my hair looks too messy. Dude, I don't, I don't even have a comb. I don't comb my hair. Why would I have to comb my hair? <laughs> I do have a pick. But <laughs> anyway, who cares? Stop judging everybody. So anyway, something is pushing you from your core, from your roots, um, that is telling you, put yourself out there, share what you got, um, um, share this gift of yours with the world that is very coming also from a very wise old soul perspective. You know, with uh, Saturn so close to the uh, Moon and the North Node, that's something that's just going to be more, mm, more influential. Like what you have is something that is going to make an impact, and you know this. And I'm going to tell you it like on most horoscopes, but um, there, there also is the energy of from coming from your core. There's things that are happening to help you feel better, um, feel more confident, n you know, know in the deepest part of you that this is the truth, you know, and that's kind of what's going on with you right now. So you're going to be seeing anything fall away that is not honoring of who you're here to be anything that is questioning who you're here to be, anything that makes you feel less than, you are going to take, um, you're going to take control in saying, I won't allow that in my life. I won't allow someone's opinion like that to infiltrate my system and affect who I am and what I'm here to do because it's so easy to do. I mean, someone just voices their opinion and it can make you change everything. Um, 
There's also two something that I wanted to tell you about. I'm going to tell them on all of them now. I forgot to put it on the main one, but I did write a little message on there. One thing too with the energy right now, and this has been going on for about a week, and there's only been a couple days that I've noticed it happen, but there's something where like all of a sudden the energy will completely shift into a whole completely different energy where one and it's usually something where you're feeling really confident you feel really good about what you're gonna do you know you can do this there's no doubt in your mind you know and then it's just like something comes in almost like I don't want to say a dark force energy but something comes in that all of a sudden you will lose your faith and think I can't do that and I've talked to a lot of people who are going through this right now and um, it is something very powerful that like all of the sudden and then you can't even understand how you felt so hopeful just a couple minutes ago what happened so when these things are happening they're happening to everybody uh, when they do happen it's kind of a test to not buy into it so when it happens acknowledge it you can feel that everything has changed but don't buy into it you know maybe it just don't do anything. Go watch a movie. Um, go for a walk. Go sit in the dirt. But don't sit there and think of all the reasons that, yes, I can't do this. I'm not different. Why am I thinking I can do anything? I don't know. I almost feel like they come to to help reinforce what you are here to do because it, it's an energy that's moving quickly it's not sitting with you so long it's not like days it's not like a depression it's just something that whoosh it's kind of like monsoon season when the storm just come right down you know if you live in the um, where I do in the uh, what's this called northwest no that's not called southwest <laughs> I'm in the desert here where we get monsoons great I love monsoon season oh that'll be fun too because they, they come so out of nowhere so I'll be doing something like this and then all of a sudden there'll be hail and lightning on the tin roof um, so yeah it's something that just kind of comes and sits but then it kind of leaves too and then you're like okay I'm fine so be aware of that um, so you are focused I think we've said enough um, clearing out some things down below so low um, whether it's people whether it's opinions um, anything that is keeping you from shining your true bright light um, is what's going on right now you're gonna see all of those things because this is all about the energy is getting you out there and acknowledging who you are and acknowledging the power you have and acknowledging that this little piece of yours is really important and it's going to affect all these other pieces so um, you're getting really serious about this and it doesn't necessarily too mean that you're going to do everything right now these are a lot of thought process um, stage that we're in right now when the new moon comes you will definitely be able to be moving forward a little bit but just kind of sit in this story right now you're just reading this book right now but you're writing it and um, write yourself in a really awesome role. <laughs> so see all of that that you really want to be living um, and breathing as your life. As you let go of all these things that tell you you can't and tell you something's wrong with you and keep you in this state of limit, limited um, vi vision. Um, because like I just posted something on Facebook something about don't let small minds convince you that you're you can't I don't remember exactly what it was but don't let small minds convince you that you can't live out your dreams is kind of basically something for you right now mm -mm. don't surround yourself with the small minds <laughs> okay that's all that's the full moon for you um, we'll be back to see to talk about the new moon and that one's even more exciting because this is the full moon eclipse and this is just a lot of let go stuff and the next one is the new moon eclipse and that's the big opportunity fresh start um, the inspired space that's going to just even accelerate even more all right i'll see you soon have a beautiful full moon